Hello YouTube people, today I'm gonna show you Adias Dive Rolex Submariner homage. In this video I'm gonna tell you positives, negatives, also give you my personal opinion and I will talk about experience wearing this watch, uh, has it met my expectations and so on. <laughs> Let's start with specifications very quickly and by the way I did the measurements by myself. So the measurements of the watch uh, it is 13.5 millimeters in thickness, uh, case size by my measurements is 41 millimeters, but the bezel itself is 40.5 millimeters, case length, lug-to-lug uh, -lug distance is 47.9 millimeters, lug width is standard 20 millimeters, and specifications ceramic bezel, Sapphire Crystal, Sapphire Cyclop and it has screw down case back and screw down crown so that's the specifications. So why have I bought this watch as usual the first question. Uh, I had Pagani design <laughs> 1661 stainless steel version and after doing the review I sold that watch and kind of regret that I did that but I sold it because it was uh, the dial was matte finish and I didn't like it. I wanted a uh, Submariner homage with glossy finish dial. And this one is with glossy finish dial, that's why I bought it. It costs basically the same money. And in this video I also tell you the differences between the Pagani 1661 and this Adidas Dive watch. So, the first impressions uh, aren't really good. Uh, actually pretty bad. Uh, when I took it out of the box the first thing I have noticed that the indices and hands are beige color, yellowish color. They don't look like aged, they just look yellowish. And the markings on the bezel are white. And in the pictures on Aliexpress everything was white. All indexes, hands, markings on the bezel were white in the pictures. But in real, uh, indexes and hands are beige color and that I don't like how that looks like. Another thing which I have noticed, this date window has a shiny frame on it. Uh, at first it was a little bit annoying because I don't like how it looks like. But after wearing this watch for several days I completely forgot about it. Because this cyclop magnifies so much that I don't really see that <laughs> that frame anymore. You, you kind of have to specifically look and uh, search for that frame of the date window. Otherwise you don't really notice that much. So not a big deal, but it doesn't look that good really. Another thing, uh, how it's different uh, from Pagani, one very important point I would say. Not only the dial, on Pagani was matte and on Adidas Dive is uh, glossy finish, but hands, specifically Mercedes hands. Uh, on Pagani design, uh, hands are overall a little bit bigger, thicker, and Pagani design hands have slight curvature. They are shaped very, very nicely. They, they look, they look expensive on Pagani design. They, they really make the watch. Even though I don't like Mercedes hands, but Pagani design has very nice Mercedes hands <laughs> and Adias Dive these hands are a little bit narrower, smaller and they are completely fat, uh, flat and they look cheap they cheapen the look of, of the watch like it doesn't look good I don't like Mercedes hands and these hands look bad in comparison to Pagani design hands another thing which I don't like about this watch is the bezel it is loose, yeah, a little bit as usual at this price point. But uh, another thing, it has uh, almost no, mm, how to say, no, like, look, I can turn it so easily with my finger. It's like when I wear this watch, every time I check the time, the bezel is in different position because it's so easy to, to knock it off the place. This bezel is completely useless to use it as a timer. And speaking about the dial, what I like, 
Um, this Adidas Dive logo, it looks really good. I like this Adidas Dive logo. I don't know about the names. Previously it was Steel Dive. Now it's Adidas Dive. I guess it's the same company because the logo is basically the same. It's just slightly changed. I don't know what's up, but I like this logo. It looks really nice. Very well printed, very sharp. Looks good. So one thing which I haven't mentioned yet. This watch has a blue anti-reflective coating and it looks nice. Uh, it's not like I have previously had Steel Dive Marine Master uh, Seiko Tuna homage and that watch had slightly domed crystal with the same anti-reflective blue coating and that coating was just annoying because it was domed so from any angle you look at the watch you can't really see the dial all you see is that blue haze but because this crystal is completely flat uh, from some angles you can see the dial very nicely and from other angles you see this nice blue haze it's wonderful it looks really good especially from the distance on the hand it kind of uh, shades in and out into that blue anti-reflective coating it looks expensive <laughs> it looks good and especially under this cyclop there is always this kind of bluish shadow <laughs> that looks nice really uh, forgot to mention one thing because there is no uh, display back on this watch I wanted to check if there is really a Seiko movement inside if I haven't been fooled you know so I tried opening it opening it and at first I tried just with fingers uh, how hard it's gonna be to open and to my surprise it was not tightened up at all like I haven't used any force whatsoever to open the, the back I just with two fingers twisted the, the back and just completely loosely opened up. So that's that's that. So how they build these watches, I don't know, it's just like next, next, it's just like the, like that completely. No one <laughs> you get what you pay for, I guess. <laughs> so if you buy uh a watch something like this, always check is it is it tightened up you know because that could compromise water resistance the crown has no logo on it but yeah whatever the crown itself is wonderful very good grip catches the threading very nicely uh, no problems whatsoever this crown is pleasure to use very very good crown and speaking about the keys it's very similar to pagani design pd 1661 but it's hard to show you, it's very hard to see, but when you really try to look and search for the differences, the Adidas Dive is a little bit bulkier, bulkier watch. So speaking about the case, the dial and so on, next thing is the loom. How is the loom? And for this money, the loom is just absolutely impressive, very stunning loom. You will catch this watch shining on your hand in the daytime like if you come from outside to the room this watch is glowing like crazy especially the bezel interestingly the bezel is fully loomed it's pretty unusual <laughs> so i don't really like that honestly it looks a little bit childish if the color would be the same i would be all right with that but now the bezel is blue and the dial indexes all are green it's just i don't know it just doesn't work together. It doesn't look elegant. It looks a little bit childish, but that's just my personal opinion. It, I should say this is a positive point because not many divers do that. And this is a plus point for a tool watch to have fully loomed bezel. But somehow it just doesn't look good. The bezel definitely lasts throughout the night, but hands and indexes, like after seven hours, it gets very difficult to see so in init initially it's very strong loom but it's not super good for long time <laughs> it fades out rather quickly except the bezel bezel is just incredible i wish the whole loom was the same as on the bezel so this watch came with the bracelet uh, i'm showing this you this watch with this silicon strap because that's how i wear this watch how I, that's how i like it 
This silicone strap I paid 1 euro 50 on Aliexpress, it's absolutely wonderful, tangible, very comfortable and I like how it looks like better than on the bracelet, but that's just my taste. And speaking about the bracelet, finishing is very good of the bracelet, finishing and fitment is really really good, it's very well done bracelet. Um, although it has one kind of negative point that this clasp is the cheapest, nastiest you can get. But yeah, bracelet is good. It's a, it's a good bracelet. Looks nice. Looks nice. So initial impressions aren't the best. I haven't got what I expected really. But how is this watch after wearing it for several days? I actually been wearing this watch full week. Full week. This was this was my go-to watch, and that says a lot. I, I like in the daylight when the sun is shining. I don't really notice those indexes and hands being beige color. Uh, it all looks kind of okay. I don't notice that uh, date window frame. It's it's fine, and overall it's a wonderful watch. Really, it it shows good time. It is very accurate watch. Can't really complain, especially on this silicone strap. It's so comfortable on the hand, and it looks nice. It's a nice watch, and I paid. I don't. <laughs> sorry, I don't really remember. 80, 90 euros, something like that. And for that, sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel, Seiko movement, 200 meters water resistance, uh, anti-reflective coating, very good loom, crazy loom, but good loom, <laughs> and. I can't really complain really, it's, it's a, for this price, wonderful watch. And even the bezel, uh, it's it's bad bezel, yes, it's too loose, but there is another thing about this bezel. It's very good for, you know, as if, I like toys like this, a fidget spinner, you know, I, I always have it next to my table, on my, <laughs> on my table, and I play with these toys in the evening. And this bezel is basically the same. You sit down and just play with this bezel. And for that, this bezel is just wonderful. You know why? Because if I don't press the bezel down when I turn it, it makes one noise. But when I press the bezel down and turn, it, then it starts making popping noise. And that noise varies uh, the stronger I press the bezel. So you kind of can turn it and press uh, differently and makes different popping noises. I'll try to show you. Now, this without pressing down. Now pressing down. And that's how I play with this well. It's just so funny now. You press it down and it starts making popping noises. <laughs> I just love it. It's awesome. You can't time things with this bezel, but to play with this bezel is one of the best bezels I had. <laughs> yeah. So, good watch. Good watch. Can't really complain. But one thing, if I would have a Pagani Design 1661 uh, stainless steel version and this one at the same time, which one would I sell and which one would I keep? It's not as easy to answer this question. I think I would sell this one uh, because Pagani design was looking, uh, was a better looking watch. Uh, you know why? Because those indexes on Pagani design were really nicely white, very nice white hands. And those Mercedes hands had very nice curvature. They look expensive. and. The whole watch was a little bit slimmer, a little bit slimmer. The bracelet was also tapering down a little bit more. It again design was looking a little bit more elegant, even with that matte finish dial. It was matte finish. It has it had some sunburst effect, not very strong, but basically matte finish. But overall, Pagani was a little bit better looking watch. But the loom on Pagani, nothing impressive. It's really it. It was long-lasting uh, loom, but it's not type of loom which would get you excited, like, wow, it's shining crazy. No, it, it's not. 
and this one is, has has good loom very good loom for the price that's it it's a good watch like buy it enjoy it it's a fun watch so thank you for watching have a nice day goodbye